2012 MacBook Pro left and right speaker replacement. Before you begin, please note that the right speaker is under the DVD drive and the left speaker is under the logic board. Begin by shutting down and flipping over your MacBook. Remove the seven short Phillips head screws starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the three long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Right speaker replacement under the DVD drive. Begin by disconnecting the Wi-Fi cable. Now disconnect the iSight cable. Next, the speaker. Disconnect the four Wi-Fi antenna cables, starting with the longest first. Next, the three small ones. You can just pry your screwdriver underneath and pop them out. Move all the cables to the left and out of the way. We'll be unscrewing the speaker bracket. It's screwed in with two Phillips head screws. Screw out the right one first. Now the left one. Now remove the right speaker Phillips head screw. You can now lift the speaker up. Be careful, it's still connected to the subwoofer. Part all the cables and push it to the right side. The DVD drive is screwed in with three Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those. Disconnect the DVD drive and the hard drive from the logic board. You can now lift and remove the drive. Pry out the glued in subwoofer. Use tweezers to accomplish this. Disconnect the speaker from the speaker assembly. It's screwed in with two Phillips head screws. After removal, the speaker and the subwoofer should be free. You can now commence the replacement. Right speaker reinstallation. Reconnect the new speaker to the speaker assembly with two Phillips head screws. Reinstall the subwoofer. Go ahead and insert the drive in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Reinstall the three Phillips head screws, one in the top left, one in the bottom left, 
and one in the back. Reconnect the hard drive and the DVD drive to the logic board. Place the speaker back into position. Tuck the Wi-Fi cable antennas underneath the speaker. One of the cables has a loop. You have to put the screw in through the loop. Go ahead and fasten it. The second cable also has a little metal loop. Loop the Phillips head screw through it. Go ahead and reconnect the antenna cables, starting with the longest one first. Then the next three. They're all different lengths, so make sure that you're connecting the longest one next every time. They pop right in. If you place it right over the socket hole and press it in with your finger, that should connect it back in. Make sure it's firmly connected. Trace out the camera cable and tuck it in along the speaker. Make sure all the antenna cables are tucked in underneath the speaker bracket. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. In this example, the Wi-Fi cable popped out. Reconnect the other end of the Wi-Fi cable to the logic board. Reconnect the speaker. You can now reconnect the EyeSight camera cable. Reconnect the last Phillips head screw on the right side of the speaker. Logic board removal to access the left speaker. Unscrew the three T6 fan screws, but leave them in place. This will make it easy to track them when you're reassembling the unit. Disconnect and lift up the fan. Disconnect the speaker. Disconnect the EyeSight camera, disconnect the Wi-Fi card, disconnect the hard drive and the DVD-ROM drive, disconnect the trackpad, then disconnect the keyboard by lifting the lever. Lift the lever of the keyboard backlight as well. Disconnect the LVDS cable. Disconnect the battery indicator. Remove seven T6 logic board screws. Disconnect the two Phillips head screws holding down the LVDS bracket, but leave them in place. Lift the bracket. Tear the microphone glued to the case. This cannot be skipped. This is a very important step. Lift the board up at an angle and flip it over. There's one more connection. Disconnect the DC and power board. Left speaker replacement. 
disconnect the speaker first trace down and disconnect the microphone from the logic board remove the glued in speaker you should feel some resistance left speaker reinstallation reinstall the speaker by placing it there should be enough adhesive left reinstall the microphone trace it down along the speaker reconnect the speaker logic board reinstallation Reconnect the DC in power board and put the board in at an angle. Make sure to push all cable connections out of the way. Insert the board in. Reinstall the LVDS bracket with two Phillips head screws. Make sure it's going over the LVDS cable. Reinstall the 7T6 logic board screws. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Make sure to lock it in. Reconnect the battery light indicator. Reconnect the backlight for the keyboard. Make sure the eyelash is up. Put it in and put down the eyelash. Now reconnect the keyboard. Also make sure the eyelash is up. This is one of the most difficult connections. Make sure to take your time and insert the keyboard cable in. Once it's all the way in and pressed in, go ahead and flip down the keyboard lever. Reconnect the trackpad. Reconnect the hard drive and the DVD-ROM drive. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the speaker. Now you can reconnect the EyeSight camera cable. Reinstall the fan. Tighten the three T6 screws. Attach the fan to the logic board. Make sure to go over all your connections before you put on the lid. Reconnect the battery. Reinstall the cover. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Then going around the contour of the MacBook, install the seven short Phillips head screws.